In this tutorial, I'll go over three examples demonstrating how to communicate between a MATLAB client and an Origin server application. For Origin users that use MATLAB extensively for data analysis, MATLAB scripts can be used to allow the two applications to work together. This can be done from inside Origin using the MATLAB console, or it can be done outside Origin in the MATLAB environment using Origin in the automation server mode. First, I will demonstrate how to analyze an image file inside the MATLAB environment and then pass the resulting data into Origin. Here in the MATLAB editor, I have a collection of MATLAB commands that analyze a TEM image and get the radius distribution data by calling the MATLAB function mFindCircles. I'll run it and MATLAB generates the following variables. We'll now use the MATLAB console to pass the data into an origin worksheet and plot a histogram of the particle radius with a distribution curve. I'll use the statistics on column menu item to get the mean and standard deviation. Then I will insert them into the graph. Next, in a second example, I will create a 3D convex hull in Origin using data generated by MATLAB. Here we have randomly distributed X, Y, and Z position data in MATLAB. The function convHull is used to calculate the indices of convex hull points. I will now run this code from the MATLAB workspace. Then I will import the XYZ data and convex hull indices data into Origins worksheet. Now I'll plot the data. I'll use the lab talk command set percent C minus SPI2 to specify an index column to create a triangular shaped patch. Here we create a triangular shaped surface which enclosed all data points inside of it. Three indices create one triangular face by connecting the three data points. Finally, in a third example, I will fit a Gaussian mixture model in the MATLAB environment and then simulate a contour plot using an origin template. The XY data of two peak zones have been imported into MATLAB. To fit such data, we first called the MATLAB function cluster to cluster two peak zones in two groups. Then we performed a Gaussian mixture model fitting using the fitGMDIST function. Now I will import the original XY data and results, including the fitted data and cluster info, into an origin worksheet.
I have previously prepared a graph template, and here I can easily select it to graph the fitted results. The cluster info column is used to color data points of two peaks. Thank you for watching.